Hey guys, Chase and I here. He's about to go in a minute, but wanted you guys to see Chase. Um, so I want to talk about our, our recent trip, Chase's first trip, and all the things I learned, things we prepped, and just how to fly and travel with the baby to the best of my ability. But Chase is going to go play in the other room. Say bye. Bye, everybody. Okay, so if you guys are as scared as I was to travel with a baby because I had no idea what I was doing, um, I always thought like, oh yeah, we have a baby, just like pop it on planes, we'll be fine, everything. No, it is so much work to get ready for a trip. Thankfully, um, our nanny prepped a lot of his suitcase, but I'll go through all of that and just kind of what I've learned on that trip and just all the things. Um, the first thing is, I, usually I'd pack the night before a trip. I packed like two days before this trip for myself and... I packed double outfits for myself just because I'd be carrying him and like on the plane and stuff. I brought extra outfits definitely for the airplane. Bring like two or three outfits for whoever's going to be holding the baby, if not both of you, because they can poop, spit up all the things on you and you want to have a separate outfit so you're not sitting in whatever is on you. I didn't think about that and Blake's sister gave me that tip and I'm really glad. I didn't end up needing my outfit, but it was just good to have in general. Um, I had like two onesies and then like two sweaters to like put over if I needed to. Um, so that was first tip. Onesie was a good and bad idea. Good because like it was just easy. I didn't have to worry about like my shirt moving around when I was holding him. But also if I needed to go to the bathroom, like I can't just take off the bottom. So maybe do like a cute yoga set or something like that for yourself. Um, and then definitely like layers. And I have like a baby carrier. So you can't really have a sweatshirt on with that. Or I don't like to. So I like to have a cardigan. So I brought like a cardigan and then a sweatshirt as well. Um, so my outfit was pretty much that. I pumped on the way to the airport. You can take breast milk through most airports and they test it, I believe. We flew through JSX, so it's kind of like a semi-private and I only did that because I was so afraid of LAX because he's still so small and doesn't have all his shots and all the things. So I just wanted to like make it a little easier on us. They don't really have like crazy security and like parking's really easy. So I will say we did do like the little bit more expensive but easier route for our first trip because I didn't want to like have chaos and I don't know I was just kind of like freaking out and it wasn't too much of a difference um price wise so I went with that that's not always an option and that's okay um as far as LAX I have heard that it isn't like too bad um I just like I don't know I was just freaking out and <laughs> that was just the best option for us um and it was a quick trip and it was a quick flight so this is the other thing to remember is this was only like a 45 minute flight so a lot of this will depend on how long your flight is um Obviously, when we go to Australia, like sometime this year, I'm really like terrified for that flight, but we'll figure that out when it comes. So some things that um, we packed like his whole suitcase with, like we brought the play mat, we brought um, like I think three or four sleep sacks, we brought like basically four or five outfits for every single day, and he actually went through almost every single one of them. I did laundry the night before we left to come home because he was almost completely out of outfits, onesies cute outfits like you name it he just like went through them all because he was he's in a spit up phase at the moment so like even we have bandanas for him completely like all gone so pack like six times as much as and their clothes are so small that it's okay but you can never have enough outfits luckily there was also a target across the street so i went and bought a few outfits um just because he was literally out and i didn't want to do laundry and i ended up doing it so whatever but whatever you think you need multiply it times like four to six just do it you won't regret it and you don't want it if you don't have laundry there or whatever just do it um yeah so besides that um in his suitcase um i also packed um a whole thing of diapers you can also like buy diapers wherever you go probably but i just waited enough time because it was a really quick trip only a couple days so i bought like a huge pack of diapers and i put I think I did enough 10 to 12 for every day. He didn't really go through all of them. I ended up bringing some of them home, but uh, again, double whatever you think you're going to use. Um, so we ended up, I averaged like 12 a day because he was kind of doing that for a while and now he's like calmed down. So half the suitcase was literally his diapers and then like his play mat and all his like toys. Um, if you think you're going to need it, just bring it. It will make your life easier when you're there. And I didn't know what we would really need. Um, besides that, it was just his clothes and some like blankets and wipes and then the formula. I brought like a whole thing of formula. Um, I'm still pumping, so I knew I would have that, but I just 
you never, again, you, you don't want to run out of formula, especially if you have a special kind that you like. So just bring the whole thing or bring two or whatever for however long your trip is. We obviously didn't run out of that, but um, just do it. Also, I wasn't sure how like car seats and stuff went for like the trip. So I ended up kind of doing some research, asking some friends who have babies. Um, we have the Orbit here at home. I love it. It's just like, I didn't want to deal with it. It's like with getting it into a car, into a car, like for cabs and stuff. I knew we weren't going to be in a lot of cars. So I ended up looking at research and I knew we want to travel more. So I ended up getting the Duna stroller and I'll put a little video here. It's really easy to use, like so easy to use. We didn't end up taking the base because you can actually do a European um, way to put it in the car. I'm really butchering this, but there's a European style to use a car seat, uh, seat belt to get it into the car really easily. You don't need the base. So we did that. I'll show you how easy it is to like break down and put back out here. The downside to the Duna for us personally is we are very tall and the baby's really low to the ground. Really great for travel and convenience um, as far as it's a car seat and a stroller. Just doesn't have any storage. So you have to like purchase extra things for storage. Like there's nothing under, there's nothing on the handles. It's literally just a stroller car seat. So if you want, um, I have some like attachments that I found that I really like. Um, one by Mom Cozy. It's like a, it has, you know, cup holders and all the things. So I'll link that below as well. But I really like the Duna. I think they can only fit in it for about a year. I believe or two years I can't remember um so we're just going to use it it was, it was the cheapest of most of the options as well it was like 550 um a lot of the other ones I was looking at were like 1500 or something so again I just a lot of people recommended it so I went with that it's really great um it was super easy like literally took two seconds to put it like in the car um wherever we went and yeah besides how tall we are for shorter people, it's probably great. It was just like, I wouldn't use it as a daily stroller just because we're so tall. Um, and besides that, some stuff that I, I wanted to show you guys that I really like and that I brought for the plane and just in general. Um, so I have this um, changing mat. I'm really weird about germs. And again, like I wanted something that I can um, change him on and uh, changing tables and bathrooms gross me out. So I got this from Seekaboo. There's some on Amazon as well that I'll link um, that I have in our car. But I like this one because it has a little pocket for like an extra diaper or two um, right here. So I like this one and I like that you can like wipe the whole thing down. Most of them are like that. Um, and then as far as diapers for the plane, um, one thing I recommend is again, like triple what you think. So I think I packed like 15 for, for the flight. I went through one when we got there, like I changed them when we got there. I changed them when we landed. Again, it was only 45 minute flight. And then I changed them again when we got, so I went through like four, three or four maybe. Um, but a lot of babies, depending on the altitude, will poop immediately when like you're starting to take off because of the air pressure or the pressure. Um, didn't happen to us. Thankfully, he just fell asleep on me. And I kind of tried to plan his feed to where he'd be like really hungry, but not fussy right when we were taking off. And I, I had like two bottles ready in case he like wanted one on the way down as well. So I gave him a bottle at takeoff. So when we're kind of taxiing, um, he drinks really fast. So he was almost done with it by the time we were taking off. And I was like, oh crap, I'm like out of formula. But, um, and the sucking, you can do a pacifier as well. I did that um, on one of the other takeoffs because he finished the bottle by the time we were taking off. But I did a pacifier for the other one and the sucking helps their ears pop. Um, another Blake's sister told me that I believe. Um, a great tip, he didn't fuss, didn't even care. Again, it was a shorter flight, so I don't know if we went really high up. We kind of stayed lower, so maybe that has to do with it. Just a little PSA. Um, but yeah, that really helped. Like a bottle at takeoff landing, he was fine. So I just put a pacifier in or he just slept on me, which um, I think Blake got a video of. But yeah, definitely do that because you don't want their ears to be hurting them and them screaming the whole flight. Um, and so yeah, that, that made it really, really easy. He didn't spit up, he didn't poop, he didn't, nothing crazy happened. So I'm not like scarred from traveling yet. Um, but yeah, and then I have some other things that I wanna show you guys of like stuff that I like for travel. A 
Okay, some other things that I recommend. I have a bunch of these little pouches from Seekaboo. Um, this is like the smaller one. I have the bigger one. So this is what I put like the wipes, diapers, everything um, in my purse. Or in, I think I had a diaper bag for him. Um, so I put all of like the diaper stuff in here and then some extra like shirts and onesies. And then um, definitely bring, like if you have burp claws, um, we have a bunch of little muslin ones. So I think I've had like 10 of those because he again is fitting up a lot. And then I have one of these bigger ones. If you're breastfeeding, take like whatever you want for that. This is like a big muslin one that can also double as like a light blanket. So I took um, one of these and then like a thicker blanket-ish one because sometimes planes can get cold. Um, and that was great because like he just, he got a little bit cold on one of them because he'd gone through his warmest outfit. So I like bundled him up in this and it was totally fine. And then I got this. I remember I just looked up one day, like what I should use to travel with formula. Cause I was putting formula powder in the bottles and sometimes they'd have some water left over and it would end up ruining it. So I got these, they come in a pack of two on Amazon and this is like my second pack, but they're really great because we just um, label with like a Sharpie six ounces or four ounces or whatever. And we put the amount of scoops in here of how much it will make. And then it's cool because each of these tops has enough, it like fits perfectly in the bottle. Whoops. It fits perfectly at the top of his bottles. So like you don't have to get a funnel and like deal with it being a big mess. You just shake it in there, perfectly done. And I took one of these with six ounces in each. And again, it will depend on your flight, um, but each little layer of these has that same little top. So really easy to travel with formula in this. And I think I had like three bottles and I brought a bottle of water or I bought one at the airport so that I had like water, like clean, good water for this. Um, but this was like super, super helpful. Um, and I have one of these in the stroller with formula, one in the car with formula. It's just like a lot easier um, to travel with and there's two of them and it's just super easy. I also took like obviously like three or four pacifiers and I put little um, extenders on each of them. I don't know if I have any here, um, but those are great in case so you don't drop them or I clipped one to him, clipped one to me. So I always had like one nearby. I did drop one on the plane. And so that one, I, the other tip, take Ziploc bags, the big ones, because like wet the wet clothes or like diapers if you don't have a trash can nearby. I think I took like three Ziploc bags. That was our nanny's great tip. And it saved us because um, his one of his outfits, he like peed and like spit up all over and it was like soaking wet and I didn't want to put it back in the diaper bag. So definitely take like big Ziploc bags, like the big freezer ones. Those are really helpful. And also like the bottle when it's done, you can throw it in there. It's just kind of like keeps everything else dry. So I loved that. That was such a good tip. Um, another thing that I did because we're using the snoo, I'm like terrified of being without it. And I posted on Instagram and a bunch of you guys told me to check out Baby Quip. It's an app. It is so great. So I ended up renting a snoo in Vegas for like the three days. And I ended up renting a rocker as well. And so easy. Literally, it's like a rental service for baby stuff. They have toys, like beds, all these things. I had bought a pack and play, but obviously it doesn't like move like the snoo does. And so um, I, I just really wanted to know I would get the sleep and he would get sleep while we were away. So um, I ended up renting a snoo. The lady was so nice. It was all sanitized. Everything was great. She just set it all up for me. Super easy. I think it was $20 a day. Um, so honestly, it was great for the fact that we could just like know that he was going to sleep well and everything was going to be the same. But besides that, like it was a pretty good trip. I mean, again, we were very fortunate that we were able to fly like semi-private. And it's just like a little bit more expensive, but it's like an easier airport, closer. We could drive our own car there, like all the things. Um, we will deal with LAX probably our next trip. Um, but besides that, everything went great. Um, just definitely, if I can re recommend anything, take more than you think until you get your bearings because it's really overwhelming to travel for the first time. And... I'm really glad that Blake is so like hands-on. It helps with everything. And I ended up holding Chase for the flight because I think I just wouldn't have been able to be relaxed if anyone else was holding him. It's like a me thing. Blake offered, but I was just like, nope. <laughs> I just wanted to hold him and he slept the whole time. And so like, I wasn't like freaking out the whole flight. Um, but yeah, it was, he was great. Perfect. I think, I think he was two and a half, three months old when we did that. So um, yeah, I don't know if that's an easy age or if we're lucky. I don't know, but I'm not mad about it. Um, but yeah, it was 
very great. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll let you guys know on our next trip. I'll link as much as I can of like stuff. And I have my whole Amazon storefront of its baby stuff that has like everything that I pretty much use for Chase now and before. And then I have some stuff for like the future. So I've tried to keep it all in one place for you guys. Um, but I'll link some of this stuff as well. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know how your trip goes. If you end up going on one, very overwhelming, but you can do it. And once you kind of like put your toe in the water, I feel like then it's not as crazy afterwards because you kind of like know what to expect or you like know what you needed to pack more of or whatever. But definitely recommend smaller trips. We're trying to do little trips to like kind of slowly instead of like one massive trip where it's like so overwhelming that I never want to do it again because I know myself. So next thing we're going to do try to do is like a staycation somewhere and see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired. But let me know if you guys have any questions and thanks for watching. Bye.